Okay, I'm going to mount this Vero 18 Bridge Lux lead onto this very nice heat sink I got from Heat Sinks USA. And I've marked out where it's going to go in the center here. And I'm just going to center punch. Precision center punch tool. And now, drill some holes. Tap them 632 because it's popular size around here. I guess I should get my wire brush. Perfect. Next step is to get rid of the burrs on top here. You can use a big drill just to get rid of some. Okay. 
this mixed up stuff here. Pretty old tube. Had it for years. Just put a little bit of the chip in. The idea is to get a nice even coat, but very thin. I'm actually trying to take it all off, because you don't need much. Always something. Those holes, I think, a bit too small. <laughs> Stuck. <laughs> I think they're a bit too small for 632. Yeah. Have no fear. I've done this before. Note to bridge locks, make your holes a little bigger. Doesn't take much. But it slows me down a bit. I bet there's a bridge locks engineer who's crying right now. <laughs> Still feel it sticking. So. Always make sure your screws have flat bottoms to them. Don't go crazy with torque, you don't need it. Just making sure they're just seated. There we go. One nice thing about the Vero is, is you can buy a connector from Molex. Just connect it in there. Like that. Good. Yeah, let's try it. Ah, we've got light. Okay. What you want to do is check on your current. I'm going to give it a couple hundred MA here. Since my volt is here now. It's, uh, it's uh, 300, I guess. Am I in the top range? Yeah. It's uh, 300 mils. Now, if the chip is not well attached to the heat sink, it's going to heat up very quickly and draw more current. If it's well attached to the heat sink, it won't heat up because the heat sink's gonna take the heat. <laughs> That's what heat sinks do. My 
I'm not using a lot of current. Don't really have to. Of course, you don't want to use like 2MA or something. 300 is a good number. Yeah, nothing's happening. So I'd say that uh, that is well attached and it's staying cold. Okay, I'm set up in my test rack. Temperature. 23 degrees. Probe in there good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 1.3 amps. I expect it'll heat up, I just don't know how much. Isn't this fun? Oh well, I'll be back. It's been about 45 minutes and things are quite stable at about 55 degrees C. <coughs> Current's still below one and a half amps. It's about 1.4 almost. And he's nice and warm. It's a 55C or 130F. Not bad. Don't need a fan for this guy. Pretty cool.